What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, first mod I'm gonna install here today um, on the Renegade 570. If you guys haven't seen the intro video on this yet, I just picked it up a couple weeks ago. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you've probably seen a little teaser photo for this mod and some of you probably guessed what it is already. Sent the ECU out to tuning to uh, Ray Parker over at uh, wholesaleatv.com. Um, he's he's an admin on the um, k and Renegade Facebook page, and he does all the tuning on the Renegades for most of the guys on there. Um, highly recommended by everybody else on the page, so went with him. Um, the reason I did it is because these things run extremely lean from the factory, and extremely hot. Um, his tune supposedly really helps smooth out the running of it, um, helps it run a little bit cooler and more efficient. Um, I had him tune it for a slip on exhaust, which I don't have now, but I'm going to be adding that next. So this way I don't have to take it out and back out to him. Uh, it'll run fine right now without the slip on. And then it will be adding that here shortly as well. So I do have another mod for the Renegade on order and I'm, uh, not going to give that up yet, but you'll see that one soon. Follow me on Instagram for some teaser photos of that as well. If you guys don't follow me there, follow me, Odyssey underscore Offroad. Um, you can usually see what's coming on the videos um, with some teaser photos and what have you. So I'm going to get the ECU put back in. Super easy. Uh, four Torx uh, bolts, T25s, I believe. Uh, they go in right over here. And then the plug, uh, just a little bracket. Um, Pull it back, the lever forces the plug out, so there's no, you know, forcing it in, forcing it out, and there's no risk of running the pins. Stick it in, pull the bracket down, and it sucks sucks it back in, seals it up. Um, plastics, you know, the hood plastic that you'd have to take off to get to the air filter, just pop that off, set it back, and then pull the side one off. Just some pins, rubber grommets, and it goes right back in. So I'm gonna get the ECU put back in. Again, it's from uh, wholesaleatv.com, it's the website. And Ray Parker is the guy who does it over there. You can look him up on Facebook. If you're on the Renegade Facebook pages, um, if you just do a search for ECU tuning, you'll see he comes highly recommended. So just got it back from him yesterday. Going to get it installed. Uh, going to take this thing out for a little rip with the wife. She's going to drive this. I'll be on the Raptor. And um, let you know here. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll let you know how much better it is, uh, if any better at all. So... You'll be able to see whether or not uh, it's worth buying it and doing it for yourself. The price is right, really, um, $139 plus shipping. So I think I paid $152 or something like that um, to have it sent to him uh, second day, priority mail. Um, he got it, called me, flashed the tune, and um, was back in the, in the mail the same day I got it back yesterday. So the overall turnaround was five days for me. So really good. Um, not much downtime there, so I appreciate that. So we'll get this sucker installed and then um, show, you, show you how it goes in. And then I'm um, going to take it for a little test ride, and then we'll give you my thoughts after that. All right, so you see I got the plug-in. I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about with the, with the uh, clip. So you'll see it's got like the uh, plug has like a, this lever on it. So you'll, note, you'll see before I installed it, the, the lever was up here. Um, you just release it right there, push that in, and then pull, push that in, and then pull the lever up. Once you, once you uh, insert the plug into the ECU, and then you push the lever back, it kind of just, you'll see right there, there's a little cam, and it just draws it in and puts it in nice and even. And then you'll hear it click once it gets past that. And that's it, it's locked in. Put the four, four bolts back in right there. Pop your plastics back on and you're good to go hopefully it fires right up and uh you'll see i guess he puts his little decal on there as well which is cool so you uh anybody gets into it will know hey this thing's been flashed supposedly they can't read this at the factory um if they just plug into your um, diagnostic port they can't tell that um, it's been tampered with so um which is nice so you know some some of the dealers like to deny warranty work so that's the plus. I deal with a pretty good dealership, so I'm not worried about that. But, um, yeah, so we'll get this sucker in. And then we'll see if she fires up. Alrighty, plastic's back on. You see it was bolted in. 
I'm gonna give this thing a whirl, see if she starts up. All right. If you guys haven't uh, seen the new Renegades with the electronic key, you have to turn the switch on, hit this twice. It's kind of like the X3s now. You have to hit the start button. Sounds good. She's running. All right, I guess we'll take her out. See if the wife thinks about it. Our biggest complaint was how hot it was. It ran really hot. And I agree, I took it for a ride to burn your leg off if you weren't wearing pants. Um, obviously, that's a condition of the placement of the exhaust and what have you, but with the tune, it's supposed to run a lot cooler. Um, when you're running too lean, it's gonna run hot, you know what I mean? So, anybody who knows anything about tuning, even a carbureted vehicle, if you're running too lean, you're running too hot. Uh, and that's how you, you know, burn up your motor. So, got it richened up. All right, well, we just got back from a ride. Went out for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, up to the mountain range there, past my house. Um, some rough terrain, hills, rocky. Uh, that's pretty much what it is out here. Um, and overall, I would say definitely an improvement. For $139, well worth it. A um, couple of things I noticed, and my wife noticed. Uh, first thing she said to me actually was, uh, we went out uh, part way into the trail. We stopped off, um, shut the machines down, had, had some water. And um, she said, it feels like it runs different and sounds different. So, and I agree with her because I took it for, took it out by myself uh, just around around the neighborhood here quick before we went out together and one thing I noticed was it just runs smoother um, The throttle response is quicker um, Because it's just not starving for fuel. So That's the biggest thing I noticed um, As far as the heat goes, it's still hot It's it as hot as it was prior to the tune. No, definitely not um, Definitely an improvement. So what I noticed and what she noticed was, uh, as she was, you know, she was driving it more than me. So, uh, what she typically when she's out on it, um, and she's only had it out, you know, two other times, this was only the third time really she'd been out on the machine, but the other two times it was consistently staying over 200 degrees, getting up to about 209, 210 sometimes, uh, before it would drop down to like 198 ish, 199. Now, It'll max out at about 205, um, but drops down super fast to about 195, 196. She said it stayed in the 190s most of the time, uh, as opposed to, you know, hovering around 205 um, as it was prior to the tune. So definitely a big improvement. Um, we'll, what we'll do next is I have a new spring for the primary on the clutch coming. Uh, we're gonna install that and review that. And um, I'll show you guys how to install those. It's pretty easy on the primaries on these. Um, and then we'll see how that makes a difference. That's supposed to help bottom end uh, tremendously. Um, so we'll get that installed, do a review on that. And then I think a uh, third stage of mods will probably be a slip, a slip on exhaust at that point. See what differences all these things make and uh, what it adds up to be at the end. But um, I'm thinking the slip on is probably going to help expel some of the heat because the factory muffler is pretty restrictive. Um, there's a lot of packing and baffling in there um, that really restricts it. And then you see this exhaust pipe, it's just super tiny. So I think a uh, you know, free flowing muffler is really going to help expel a lot more of the heat out. Um, the biggest, her biggest complaint of heat now still mostly is on the left side here um, and that's where the exhaust is so hopefully the muffler will fix that so that is that um, so like i said guys wholesaleatv.com go to the website uh, you can purchase the tune there and um, it's a pretty self-explanatory process go through the checkout process select your shipping um, you, you check out at the end print your receipt 
instructions are on the website, but uh, print your receipt, um, package up your computer. I wrapped mine in some bubble wrap, stuck it in an express box, um, slapped the label on it, and sent it. So then he'll get it, you know, unpack it, pack, ship it back to you in the same box. So super easy process. Um, you'll get, as soon as he is done tuning it and sends it out, you'll get an email uh, from the website saying that uh, your package is on its way. So then you'll get a tracking number. So that's it. Um, again, I definitely feel it's worth the upgrade. Sorry about the wind here. This wind's picked up a little bit. Uh, but for $139 plus shipping, I think it, paid, I think it came to like $151 in total. Uh, definitely worth it. Uh, runs way smoother. Uh, the overall average operating temperature is much less. And um, I kept checking, you know, the, the header pipes too when we get to stop quick. Um, and I didn't notice them at red and glowing like the issue we were getting um, when it was new. So that's that. Super good mod. Um, Ray Parker's the guy's name as well. He's on the Can Am Renegade Facebook page. Um, he, I think he's the admin or, or uh, runs the page. But you can look him up on there, um, look up all the reviews. I haven't seen that one person uh, complain about his tune. Um, it runs great, uh, super smooth, overall engine tips down. So, like the video, guys, share it, thumbs up. Even if you don't like it, that's fine too. But uh, we will see you on the next one, more mods to come on this one. And uh, a couple goodies on the uh, Raptor too. So, thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram, odyssey underscore off-road, and we will see you on the next one. Ride safe.